ബൈപ്പാസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന അവിടുത്തെ പെട്രോൾ പമ്പാണ് കാണുന്നത് പെട്രോൾ പമ്പിന് അപ്പത്തുള്ള വീടിന്റെ ഒരു ഫ്ലോർ മുഴുവൻ വെള്ളം കയറി കഴിഞ്ഞു exclaiming in disbelief as a block of houses crashes down the hill in a torrent of mud and flood water the 40 people living there had thankfully already been evacuated an entire hillside collapses a car can just be seen cascading down with the debris nine days of torrential rain has destroyed hundreds of homes in the southern indian state of kerala families wait on the roof for the military to arrive being winched into helicopters is particularly terrifying for the elderly they'll be carried to safety but uncertain if their homes will still be there when the water recedes no way to escape from this place says a man trapped in his house in chenganur as he films he adds water has already reached the staircase level please pray The continuous downpour has brought landslides. The usually tranquil hilltop communities now buried under an avalanche of wood, soil and rock. The chief minister has confirmed that more than 300 people have died so far as a result of these floods. Kerala Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan has written to the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister E. Paneer, uh, Palani Swami asking for regulation of water in the Mulai Periyar Dam, saying water level at 142 feet is a threat to safety. The, the situation coach. worsened overnight after Tamil Nadu opened shutters of Mulai Periyar Dam. Hundreds were evacuated in a matter of hours. <laughs> The outflow from Mulla Periya Dam meant all the shutters of Idukki Dam, touted to be the largest arch dam in Asia, are open again. It is no different in northern Kerala. The shutters of the Banasura Dam are still open. Thousands are still in relief camps. Let's go to Gopi Krishnan in Vandi Periya. We are told that the the waters from mulai periyar when they were released that's where the flooding began gopi tell us what you're seeing around you at the moment what's the sense you can give our viewers across the, the country the water level in vandi periyar and other region have are increasing drastically because it just took me one or one and a half hours to just shift from that that area and when i came back to see that it was like almost 8 to 9 feet of water and that was a change in the water level because and all that just happened in like 30 minutes and all this has happened after the mulai periyar reservoir was up, opened after a very long time now actually the people living further down in kerala or further in the eastern part of kerala will have to be more, will be more affected that is what we are getting to understand because this water directly flows into the idiki reservoir and that will actually uh, increase the water level inside idiki reservoir once that happen the spillways from the idiki reservoir will have to be further open increasing the inflow into periyar river down into the western parts of kerala that will be in ernakulam and uh, idiki so the other one word rajdeep you are an honorable exception to the uh... to the lament that i expressed uh, on uh, social media today that the kerala flood seems one more proof that the farther you are away from delhi the less you matter in today's india the rest of the media has barely paid attention to the scale of the problem and the gravity of the situation here i'm glad you're devoting as much time and attention as you have today this must continue 
I assure you, Mr. I assure you today, Mr. Tharoor, on this Independence Day, we could have started this bulletin with the Prime Minister's speech. But politicians, including the Prime Minister, will always give Independence Day speeches. This is the worst flood, as you all, both of you are saying, in Kerala in 100 days. This is God's own country, which is being ravaged by nature. I know you make a point, the tyranny of distance, as I call it, Mr. Tharoor, the further you are from Delhi, you get less, assist, uh, you know, you get less media attention. But I'm sure that sooner or later, the people of this country will realize what's unfolding in Kerala. It's taken a few days, I think, for the country to realize the gravity of what's happening in Kerala at the moment. But I assure you, this is a story we will continue to focus on relentlessly in the days ahead here on India Today. Our thoughts, our prayers this Independence Day are with you, Mr. Alphonse, Mr. Tharoor, and the people of the wonderful state of Kerala. Caste people have discriminated them by setting a parallel camp in the camp same area. They also refused to eat the food from the camp which was cooked by the Dalit community. The upper caste people refused to cooperate with them in cooking and having food. They even demand half of the groceries that was provided in the camp for running their parallel camps in the same school. It's an unfortunate that always during the flood or during the disasters times, the caste comes and stays still. Even the flood or earthquake, which happened in Odisha years before, could not demolish the caste. Press the like button below the video and share and subscribe. Power to people.